In this tutorial, we'll talk a bit more about how user parameters can be leveraged to reparameterize a component, in this case, a wing. So in this example, we're going to use vehicle gross weight and wing loading to size the area of this wing rather than doing it manually under either the area tab in the section tab or the total area under plan form. So if we come to our model, look at user parameters, you can see we've already created two, com two custom user parameters in wing loading and gross weight, which I did here. You can see both of those. And these, if we click on this parameter, you can go to the advanced link tab and see that this is already linked into something called wing sizer in advanced links. So model, advanced link, and here we've brought up this window where you can see under the wing sizer link, we've got our gross weight and wing loading. And that is controlling this variable that we've called S which hooks into this area parameter that's the total area of the wing. So now, based on this very simple one line of code, where it's just a math with a semicolon, we have our gross weight divided by our wing loading, and that gives us our total plan form area. Now, because this is an advanced link, it updates in real time. So we can increase or decrease the gross weight of our aircraft, and it will scale the wing accordingly, or we can change our wing loading to something from, you know, say, drop it down to 30, and that uh, makes it bigger, or if we increase it up to something like 60, then it makes it smaller. And so what we've done here is we've adjusted using something like a sizing parameter rather than a geometric parameter per se, that adjusts the shape of this wing. Now, it's important to note here that in the advanced link, I used the plan form area, but because this is a single section wing, I could have as easily used the uh, area of the section, but in this case, I would have had to divide the equation by half because this is just the area of this section of the wing, in this case, on the right side. The total plan form area is double that because we have a reflected symmetry on the other side. So if you want to maintain total area as uh, related to wing loading and gross weight, I recommend that you do use the plan form area, which is going to scale your entire wing accordingly. If you want to have variable wing loading along your span, that's when you'd come into the section tab and start using this sectional area as you move along. So an important distinction when you're setting up these equations.